Good morning, guys. This is Leo Gensky, and I'm the author of Street Fighter 4 Custom Mod Manager. That's a tool uh, for you to manage your custom mods in Street Fighter 4 PC. And I've been getting a lot of questions regarding this tool in my YouTube page and in my email. Uh, and I thought my first video tutorial with uh, the the first version that I released of Street Fighter 4 Custom Mod Manager plus the readme file that comes bundled with the tool uh, would be um, explicit enough for you guys to be able to use it without uh, major problems but uh, I guess this is not the case so I decided to uh, make a new video tutorial in order to help you guys uh, to better understand how Street Fighter 4 Custom Mod Manager really works and how it can benefit your uh, mod managing uh, tasks. So I've divided uh, my video tutorial in four parts in order for you guys to jump right in to the part when you uh, where you need assistance so part one here is regarding an error of permissions in the character directory so um, some of you guys have been having this problem when you start off my custom mod manager and uh, a pop-up will show up uh, saying you don't have uh, permissions uh, to to write or to change files in this directory so we'll get to that in part one part two um, is actually the the greatest uh, piece in this tutorial so it's the biggest it, or it will be the manual costume file management uh, here you will learn how to um, basically manually add a color file, a costume file and a VFX file. I'll explain to you what a color file is and what differences are between these three types of files, color, costume and VFX files and how you can use manual custom, costume file manager to, um, to select and to change your mods uh, in game uh, but without using the custom mod switcher. The custom mod switcher is a feature uh, already present in my first video tutorial that allows you to uh, switch costumes in-game without exiting the window of the game. It uses a voice synthesizer and we'll get to that in part 4 of this tutorial. But you can also Alt tab out of the window of the game or uh, if you're using the game in window mode you won't need the alt tab and uh, you can use manual costume file management to apply your costumes while in game part 3 it's the bulk costume import and export so this is where I'll teach you uh, how you can import entire directory structures recursively so if you have all of your files uh, inside uh, a directory structure that has a few levels of depth and um, you want to import them all in one go you can Street Fighter 4 Custom Mod Manager will allow this and you can also export your current existing uh, costume library that is already present in your character directory of Street Fighter 4 you can export them to individual zip files and they're all uh, named zip files and they're all separate for each costume and for each character so Custom Mod Manager uh, will do that automatically for you. Part 4 it's the custom mod switcher. It's the feature I was talking to you guys about earlier on here when I was discussing part 2. So this is the feature that allows you to select and apply uh, custom mods to characters in game without having to exit the game window so it uses a voice synthesizer in order for you to uh, 
uh, do that and uh, this was already present in my first video tutorial but we'll get to that in part four so let's get started with part one and I'll be right back <laughs> 